Hey guys, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hailbound Company. And in this quick video tutorial, I'm just going to show you real quickly how easy it is to press these awesome soft micro plush floor. Um, I'm not sure what the correct term is, but these baby bibs that I get from Stan over at Coney Island Transfer. Man, these things are super, super, super soft. Um, they've got a terry, a terry cloth backing, um, and they have this soft plush velour on the front hand. It's like a microfiber, so it's super soft. Um, I do use these for my grandson all the time, so um, and I can tell you they fit very well. Um, and he's got what we call a little bit of a big head, so these fit around him perfectly without being too tight or too loose on him. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so here's my template. This is the template pack that I just created. There's four sets in a pack, and um, and these are listed on the website now. And um, so they're different. It's the same uh, pinstripe soup suit, but you get different ties in each image with the four pack. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you've got to um, take your lint roller brush and you got to get any loose fibers off before pressing. So what I do is I take my, my lint roller and I just bend my paper over just a little and that way it holds it in place as I'm rolling. Well, don't get too carried away. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to take our our Condi Dye Trans po Pro Spray, and we're going to spray the, just a little bit on the paper. And you want to do it over the trash can so that you don't get sticky all over your floor. Just a little bit is all you need. Okay. And now what I like to do is I like to align the bottom up first. And yes, if you line it off, you can lift it and reposition it. It's just going to give you a little bit of a fit. So I start with the bottom, especially on this template because that button is there. And then I move, I go up and to the sides. It just makes it easier. Okay. Once you get it in place, Just press it down so that it sticks good to the Pro Spray. The next thing we're wanna gonna do, we're gonna wanna put it in between a piece of your protective paper. I'm just gonna add some paper here. Make sure it's big enough. And then we're going to flip it over. Okay. Feel the top just to make sure it's flat. Take some more paper. Because that pit, my, that original uh, protective paper. And this is butcher paper, which you can get from Amazon. Um, and you want to make sure you want to get the white and not the brown paper. The brown will leave little specks in your garment items as well. All right, so Stan says to cook at 405 for approximately 45 seconds. I go with 50. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let this cook, and we'll be right back. All right, so you lift. Lower this so you can see gonna move all our pieces of paper. I repurposed my paper by putting it in a recycle box over there for Eldon to use as packing paper. All right, and we're just gonna slowly lift. Wow. Wow. I didn't like the paisley at first, but I really do now. Just beautiful.
Okay. Well, so as you can see, I was a little off on that. Um, this is for my kids, so it's not a big deal. Um, but here are the other ones. So my placement was off just a little bit. So here are the other ones that I did prior. And you can see how beautiful they are. That's what happens when I get in a rush on the video. So there's the purple tie that's included. You've got the red and blue checker tie that's included in the pack. This one is not included in the pack, but I am working on a separate pack for this design. And then you've got this one, and there's also a solid red tie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.